So in this video I'm going to talk about sulphur powder. Basically over the last few weeks I've had quite a lot of questions on YouTube and Facebook about what to do now that the green sulphur powder that I've suggested should be used to protect against rot and fungi on overwintering plants has been banned by the EU which came into force at the end of 2011 and basically it came into force because not because the product is dangerous but because um, no company was going to license for it and the, the reason the use of the sulphur powder was for protecting against rot and fungi etc and that use has been banned although the product itself sulphur is an element and can be bought in this form which is yellow sulphur rather than green sulphur the green sulphur was basically identical to this product with the exception of a little bit of copper added to make it green so that when you dust this on leaves and water it and um, put it on plants leaves that it doesn't show up as much but it's effectively the same same product so you can still buy yellow sulphur but you can't buy it for protecting against rot because that's not allowed but you can buy it for as a plant nutrient and soil acidifier so it has to be marketed and advertised like this so you can still buy this product and then it works in the same way, even though it doesn't say on the back. It works by dusting this on to uh, cut surfaces and, and bulbs, combs, like gladioli. And in the case where I use it, on these Otete bananas at a dry store, basically the cut surfaces, once they've been dried out a bit, I just dust with the sulphur powder all over there. And that acidifies the surface and stops sort of bacteria, fungi, etc, and trying to grow and multiply on that surface. So for people that have been asking about where can I buy green sulphur, the answer is you can't, but you can buy yellow sulphur and use that, because that's effectively the same product, even though it doesn't say it on the back. Hope that clears up a bit of confusion about using sulphur.